So the first thing we need to do to understand this is we need to talk a little bit about gravity. So in general, here we have the big old planet Earth, we'll call that E, right? And just to talk about something, we'll talk about the moon, which is, we all know, orbiting the Earth. Now, in order to understand this a little bit more, let's talk about the Earth as if it were a single point. So we can concentrate the mass of the Earth into a single point, we call it E, and we concentrate the mass of the moon to a single point, we call it M, because we can treat these planets as if their masses are concentrated uh, at a single point. Now, why am I doing that? Because I want to define the distance between the Earth and the Moon. We're going to call it R. Now, what I want to point out to you is that the law of gravitation, right, the force between any two objects, right, is equal to the gravitational constant, which is just a number, times the mass of body number one, like the Earth, times the mass of body two, like the moon, and all of that stuff is divided by the distance between them, but squared, right? The distance between them. So you can see that if the Earth has mass, that would be like M1, and if the moon or a spacecraft has mass, these are both numbers. G is just a number. I could tell you what the number is, but it's just a, a number multiplied by this stuff. Um, then no matter how far away I put these objects, this radius or this, this distance is still going to be a number we're dividing by it. So the force between any two bodies in the solar system is always positive. There's always a gravitational force. So it's a complete myth to say that we go into space and we have zero gravity. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.